This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Uh, Ahmed would pin uh, Rad Radford in a dark match and then defeat Tim Knox at a superstars taping. And finally, he debuts on television in one of the biggest ways we've seen on a Monday night raw. It's October 30th, 1995. Owen and Yokozuna are beating down razor Ramon and the one, two, three kid. When all of a sudden Ahmed Johnson emerges and body slams Yokozuna. Uh, it's written in the newsletter, which I'm relatively certain would be the heaviest wrestler in history to go up for a body slam. And, uh, yeah, bulldog then went to attack Johnson. And when he saw him, he backed off Smith pinned Janetti with a power slam lot to unpack here, but what a way, I mean, this was once upon a time, the way you got over a new talent or an existing talent is they body slammed a big guy, whether it was Hogan and Andre or it's Luger and Yokozuna. For a debut, slamming Yoko at probably his heaviest, that's a big deal. Man, it was a huge deal, and part of it was was when you looked at the immovable force and the whatever object and all that good stuff, it was impressive as hell. And the the roster looking at it, who could possibly do that? It needed to be something new, something fresh. And if you want to make a big impact, that was something – that Ahmed could pull off. Yoko was up for, and you know, you remember it and people were going, who the fuck was that guy? Did you see that guy pick up that 500 pound plus Yoko Zuna and slam his ass? Um, yeah, it's a hell of a way to make a first impression. Chat me up about Yoko's attitude here. You know, we've, we've covered the fact that Yoko was the the main event and the world title at WrestleMania nine and 10, but here we are on the heels of 11 and he's moving down the card. No problem with uh, letting a debut in character body slam him in his first appearance. Not at all. Another thing worth mentioning. I believe this is the last TV taping that bill Watts worked as a part of the company before he wound up leaving. Do you remember bill being one of the driving forces behind Ahmed really thinking, Hey, this guy could be the future. We all did. You know, it was, it was something that everyone was excited about in seeing Ahmed and looking at someone that hadn't been exposed to any great length. He had been on a global GWF. That was it. Yeah. Um, but he'd been on his Moadib. So this was really Ahmed's first national exposure. And you had a blank canvas to work with. So everything that you you did with him was going to be new and it was going to be introductory and it would be the first time for him on many, many levels. That was the beauty of of Ahmed. I think that that was something that everybody was excited about because it wasn't taking another character and, and trying to adapt it to what we do. It was you're creating a brand new character and being able to take this animal charisma and this fucking everything that he had. And now you've got a clean slate. Hey, Hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell. So you get a notice anytime we upload some new content and go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30 year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much find out right now for free at savewithconrad.com.